Hi everybody, Lloyd Ashley here. I just want you all to remember that we pledge no one be on their own in Wales and we still mean that. So just remember we are we are here for you always. And just a quick question, how are you today? We want to know that and we think it's really important. So please just check in, have a think to yourself, how am I feeling today? That's really important. So today I'm going to talk about building a well-being toolkit. I think it's very important and I think it's not only important when things go wrong, it's important to know when things are going well. And it's a good time now, there's not as much going on, it's a brilliant time to reflect. So, building a well-being toolkit, and I spoke about pre-coronavirus and I'm also speaking about some of the changes that have had to be made during coronavirus because things have changed a little bit. So, for me, my well-being toolkit, my wife, huge part of my life and fortunate to have it by my side all the time. And that's why I say lucky to have her in the house now, especially at a time like this. So huge part of my well-being toolkit. My friends, very fortunate to have friends I can speak to, rely on. So they are a huge part of my well-being toolkit. The other one, the dog, whatever's going on, she all she wants is to be taken out for a lead, given some love. And whatever I've done, whether I've left her outside all day in the cold, as soon as I come home, she wants to jump, play around, and she's forgot all about all the bad stuff. So I think that's a good way to be as well. And the last one for me, training. And I must say, I found training a lot harder on my own than I thought I actually would. So training is not only for to get as fit as you possibly can, it's also to keep yourself mentally active. And I've had to change my fitness regime to keep myself active and going and in as good shape as I possibly can, but also just to keep my mind uh, going as well. And that's so important that we use our training and use the time that we are allowed to use for exercise now. Use it wisely, make sure we use it for mental health, physical health, and just our general well-being. But some things have had to change, we know that. So if you're lucky enough to have household members, maybe they're part of your well-being toolkit, maybe they're the things that keep your support system and they're one of your four pillars in your well-being toolkit. It could be family and friends. I know you might not be able to see them now, but maybe picking up the phone, giving a text, whether it's a ring, FaceTime, absolutely brilliant, whether it's sharing videos with them, something like this now that might help not only you, but might help them. We spoke about some of their uh, social media platforms, but there's like FaceTime, Zoom, WhatsApp, there's also on there Habble Click that's always there for you, so please use the resources that are there. New hobbies, cooking, reading, drawing or walking, or as we discussed shown the other day, juggling. I know the cooking one's been a big one on the, uh, on the Instagram page, which is a brilliant demo, so why not give that a go? And some of you are probably much more talented than me, but music, that's, that's a brilliant one. I wish I could uh, have learned an instrument, so why not try now? Personal development. There's so many things online that we can use for positive resources or whether it's learning to present in your kitchen or doing something different. Make sure we use this time wisely now so we come out at the end of the end of the coronavirus and we've, we've got something positive for our well-being out of it. Volunteering or supporting those who need it most or are most vulnerable. There's so many people who need our help now and I know so many of you are doing an absolutely fantastic job at keeping services going and doing lots of other work. So please keep that up, uh, even if it's little things like picking up some extra shopping for somebody next year. Let's just do what we can to support the community. Some time to go through all photo albums. I liked when uh, Mara spoke about building our well-being, uh, building our toolkit, crisis toolkit at the time, and Lime speaking about our well-being toolkit, yes, yeah, so a lot of similarities, but maybe there's some old photos that just put a smile on your face, and I know some might bring tears to your eyes, but it's important that we enjoy, and sometimes it sometimes it is uh, hurtful, but it's a lot of good memories there, and I, I know I've had a lot of good, sm big smiles, some tears rolling down the face from my photo albums, so I just want to say, Everybody, please just remember, we are there. If there's any extra support you guys would like, please just check out my Instagram. It's uh, Living Well with Lloyd Ashley, and uh, there's lots of tips on there. So thank you for your time. Please stay safe and stay well.